We all see clocks every day. We know that all of these clocks move at the same rate, because we know that time moves at a fixed rate. Time is something that people have always understood as something that we can't influence. The clock's been running while I've been talking. That's undeniable. But what if I said time isn't moving at the same speed for everyone and everywhere? Well, that's exactly what Einstein did. So imagine we have two people riding along on a cart, one of which is you, and that cart is moving past a building at a constant speed. The cart is moving relative to the building in the outside world. The two people, on the other hand, see each other as stationary objects because you and the cart are moving with the same speed. This means that relative to the cart, you are not moving. This means that physics would apply to you on the cart in the same way that it would if you were standing still on the ground. If there's a third person standing on the ground watching the car go by, that person sees you moving with the same speed as the car. We call this relative motion, and it applies to everything in the universe except light. In the late 1800s, it was determined that the speed of light is a universal constant. That is to say, assuming light is just traveling through the air, its speed will remain constant. But just imagine a particle of light bouncing up and down in a jar. We can call the distance from top to bottom of the jar d. Now let's assume the time it takes the particle to bounce up and down once is one second. We know the speed of the particle is d over one second. We can call this s. Now let's say the jar is placed on the cart, and the cart is still moving. Now because the particle is also moving horizontally with the cart, there is additional distance being covered by the particle in the same time. We can call this new distance capital D. We know the time is still one second, so the speed is capital D over one second, and we can call this capital S. But something isn't quite right here. As I said earlier, it was already determined that the speed of light is constant. So in our example, S equals capital S equals C, where C is the universal speed of light. But for the speed of light for both you and the third person to remain the same, something has to change. That something is time. Time slows down as your speed increases, especially when nearing the speed of light. So the faster you travel, the slower you experience time. Depending on your speed, what is a day for you could be two days, or two months, or two years, or even 20 years for the third person watching the cart from the ground. This was the primary conclusion of Einstein's special theory of relativity.